Okay, let's have a look at uh, version one that I've just taken and removed from the tower before I put version two on. Um, turbine cover casing, uh, a lot of wear on this uh, spindle coming out of the, the, the generator. The big design flaw with version one was the fact you had a large shaft here that threaded into that uh, spindle. I'll, I'll, there's quite a bit of wear inside the shaft uh, and it relied on gripping to that shaft by just two uh, grub screws. If, if you didn't get the grub screws absolutely bang on, you got some wobble from side to side, which generated further wear. So to be honest with you, uh, that was a big design flaw. They've uh, significantly changed that in version two. As you can see, they've actually put a lock uh, cutaway in here, which one of the bolts will actually fit into and be much more secure. Um, I've made a few designed changes since the last time I took a video. I've actually put some uh, viewing panels and then one opening uh, panel here. There's another one actually on the other side, around, around there. Um, I've done that to be able to see the condition of the belt inside and also to get access without having to remove the whole thing uh, if I actually need to change the belt. So, there you are. There's the, uh, the blades waiting to go on. Significantly different from version one. You can see the, uh, the extra pieces on the bottom uh, that, uh, that should give better drive in, in lower wind speed. Anyway, I'm gonna install the uh, turbine casing back on the tower put this on and then I'll start to do some measurements. Quick uh, install at the top here. So just uh, on the square sort of, uh, I think it's a six, eight mil plate, six mil plate and uh, four bolts and that's it. Okay, just a quick look. We're uh, doing about between 3.5 and 4.5 meters per second of wind. So let's just have a quick look and see what's happening on the wind turbine. So we've got about uh, 4.5 meters per second there and the wind turbine does start. It, it's sort of anything between 3.5 and 4 meters per second, it doesn't really go. And then as soon as the wind drops off, you get some quite uh, significant fall off of speed. And that's just because of the gearing.